Spoiler alert, we're going to be taking a look at Ray's new lightsaber, so if you don't want to know what it looks like, oops, don't watch the rest of this video. Hey everybody, welcome to the Dano channel. I am Dano, and I'm here with an electronic lightsaber toy review. I'm covering up parts of it, even though I kind of showed this off on my Instagram a couple weeks ago. But Triple Force Friday has landed, we are now past it, and this is the new, it's like a level 2 electronic lightsaber. They have cheapo ones that don't light up. They have these electronic ones that do light up, and they have the fanciest one, the Lightsaber Academy, which is the level three fanciest lightsaber that you could imagine. <laughs> but they have three of these. There's Luke Skywalker, uh, four of these, I'm sorry. Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, and Rey, which are $20. And the fourth one is Kylo Ren, which is, I believe, $25. Uh, and it works in the same way that this does. Cool? Let's take a look at the outside of the box on this thing. Oh, okay, so first up, it's very, like, blue and white. I like the kind of crystally looking shapes they've got going on there. It says here phrases from Ray, image enhanced to show light effects. That is not really what it looks like. You can hear character phrases, lights and sounds. Look at that weird, cool looking brown thing. It's an electronic Ray lightsaber. Three AAA batteries are required, but not included. Here's a long view of the entire lightsaber. Very cool. Actual size, image enhanced to show light effects. So it does not light up exactly like that. It is enhanced. Uh, there's another shot of Ray again, character phrases, the first order everywhere. I'm Ray, the resistance sent me. That's my best Ray impression. Lights and sounds. Scan the QR code on the lightsaber to view lightsaber videos. So there's an app that I'll show you in just a minute where we can look at. Is this sad baby approved? App is available. I'm not seeing any any sad babies approving nothing. No. No sad babies at all. On the top? Nope. Nothing. Sides? Did I get the sides? Well, come on, we've got to stop them, and I feel the force. Okay. All right, well, let's let's just open this thing up. I think I've got it already split at the right spots it needs to be split at. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Thought I did. <laughs> okay, it's, like, still glued. Let's, you know what, let's just mangle it, man. Let's just get this thing open. Ooh, it's got some neat rust effects on it I'm already seeing. Okay, 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 come on. Is that it? There's no papers or nothing in there? Nothing weird I'm forgetting? No? We're good? Whoa. I can already tell you it feels good in the hand. It's a little bit smaller. It feels a little bit smaller than like a Blade Builders. Oh, it is smaller than a Blade Builders. That's not a huge blade. Look at that. Like, it fits on the screen, no problem. From from this end to that, it's not a, it's not a huge lightsaber. I can put it on my knee and it's like just still in frame. That is not large, but you know what? I actually like that. This is definitely more for kids. Definitely more for kids, but I like how lightweight it is. That actually feels really good. Some of the blade builders were super clunky. Um, this top notch thing, this feels too big. This feels like it sticks out way too much for what it is. Um, but it's it doesn't have batteries in it yet. Uh, let's see how the battery comes. There's a little screw, so I need a screwdriver, which I have handy and I've got batteries handy as well and take a look at that QR code take a look right there at that QR code if you have the app scan that QR code I'm giving it away to you for free you just scan that off your screen or take a picture of it and I don't know figure out a way to scan that within the app but there you go put this on your TV and then scan it off the TV something but look at the look at the the little like the divots the dents oh wow yeah this is it's got a nice shine for 20 bucks, it's all hard plastic. There's no rubbery pieces. But for 20 bucks, I'm I like this. I uh, this is it's it's just again, it feels smaller here. Like I could put my whole hands around it like that with a little bit of overlap. Look, I can like overlap quite a bit. And I feel that's not the case. It's thin for a lightsaber. I feel like that's not really been the case with previous blade builders. I'll have to test them out here in a second and see. But Overall, I think this is a, a smaller lightsaber than previous electronic versions, but I personally don't see that as a bad thing. I actually see that as kind of a plus. Sometimes they were a little bit too clunky, especially for kids. They were Some of them are clunky for adults. Like the spring action lightsaber, that one's massive. So, I mean, this isn't spring action by any means, and it does not go all the way down because of the electronics inside. It's always going to be this, you know, the stubby weird stub saber thing. Um, there's a spot here for three different batteries. So I'm gonna get some batteries out. Ooh, look, ready to go. You ready? 
You ready for the first ignition? I'm Ray. The resistance sent me. It's got a little bit of light. All right, let's uh, let's turn off some lights here in my office. Gonna make it a little bit darker. I'm gonna turn off one or two more. Okay, it's a little bit light outside just because I'm filming this during the day, but for the most part, it's dark. Let's let's do it again. I'm Ray. The resistance sent me. Okay, it's a little bit better. Again, it does suffer a little bit from the fact that <laughs> that it lights up more at the front and then gradually gets a little darker until you get to the tip. That is something that happens with these kinds of lightsabers often. It does flash on clash. Okay. It is still lightweight even with the battery, and I like that. I knocked something over, so it is official. I... How do I get sounds? Is it only when you turn on, turn off, or? There's the, huh? Okay. Let's, let's hit it, and then not move it. See if she talks. Well, come on, we've got to stop them. There you go. Do it again. The first order are everywhere. So it's like, if, if you're not doing anything, then she talks. Anything? She's quiet. How long till she speaks? I feel the force. There you go. Okay. Okay. Now I have a better feel for this. Let's see what happens when we uh, when we turn it off. It flashes and just turns off. Okay, let's turn it back on. Flash to turn on. I'm Ray, the resistance sent me. I feel the force. And she says, I feel the force when it turns off. I'm Ray, the resistance sent me. I feel the force. Okay. Because I like to be thorough, I'm going to compare this one, this is the new one, to a Blade Builders. And actually, it may not show on camera, but the new one lights up a little bit brighter. It does light up just a smidge brighter. Oh, we're going to have to take a close look at these. And then just for the other sake of saking, I've got the force action one. It does not want to turn on. Okay, never mind then. And this is the force action. You ready? Let's see how the force action stacks up. Oh my god, so, in terms oh, of, on, whoa, so the force action is much bigger, Blade Builders has a longer blade, but not as bright, and as far as brightness, the force action one is brighter, but again, the tip is completely black. Wow. Okay. The loudest one is the force action. Let's turn you off. As far as the Blade Builders... Ooh, the Blade Builders is chunkier and clunkier. Interesting. They're about the same loudness. But the new one is actually much brighter. Same amount of flash. Actually, this one might flash a little... The new one might flash a little bit more. Same time of flash. But it looks like it has maybe one more thrown in there. I can't quite tell. Very interesting stuff here. All right, let me turn the lights on. We'll measure some stuff and show you some more. Okay, for comparison's sake, this one on the left, this is an old Blade Builders. This second one here is a newer, it's a different Blade Builders. One's from the Kylo Ren 2-pack, and the other one is just like the loose, basic one that's not sold with anything else. It's just, that's it. They're both non-electronic. This is the electronic Blade Builders right here. Electronic Blade Builders, and this is the new one. 
you can see that it's actually much thinner. It is the blade itself seems to be the same thickness as the uh, the other electronic blade builders. Sculpt's a little bit different. Remember, I mentioned this seemed a little bit long. Yeah, it definitely looks a little bit long when you put them side by side. The buttons are way different. Way different. Look at the style on those. Again, this was way chunkier, and that was this one's problem was how chunky those like buttons came out. This actually feels super comfortable, and I like it a lot. But look at the actual button size. Look at the reveal. Look at that. Huge, huge difference in button size. And even some of the other ones, you can see here, it's like crazy. It's like there's huge, huge difference in the buttons. And that's not even including the force action. We want it. Now, the force action is a much, much bigger scale. Look at that. Force action is gigantic compared to the other ones. So there's that. But this is the newest one. It's actually what I would say is the most comfortable, this newer one. And, yeah, it's it, it does just so you guys can see the close-ups on it. Uh, it does have, like, a nice glittery gloss. I guess they all kind of do. But... It's got a Star Wars sticker on there, which I don't love, and I probably remove. Um, the actual dial here on the button is kind of funny looking. It's not colored. Notice this one's red. That one's got a big, like, pinkish red. This one's black. And this one's all silver. I wonder why. I don't have any good indication as to why. And notice, like, this one's got the two black dots. This one has, or er, rectangles. This one has no rectangles. This one's got two rectangles, and this one has unpainted rectangles. And... It's just silver on the, the screw, gold screw, not a screw at all, and then another silver screw. So just some, some interesting differences that we've got here. We get all the chunks and pieces from where it broke. And I just don't know why this piece is so long, and it's so bent. It's long and it's like bent out of shape. These aren't bent, these are straight. These are, all these other ones are straight. And maybe that's because it's broken, that it got bent and mangled or something. I don't know, we'll find out in the movie, I guess. But overall, it's a comfortable, good-looking lightsaber. Next, I think we should test out what it does in the app with the uh, scanning of the QR code. Okay, and we're gonna get the new app open. Let's, I've got it going here. This is the Star Wars Lightsaber Academy app. It says it's best played with sound. Jedi Padawan. Oh, okay. So I gotta connect, a, I'm not gonna connect that lightsaber. I'm gonna scan a code instead. Do I have to bring it that close? Oh, there it goes. Got it. Jedi. Oh, rewards. Jedi Forward Strike, Jedi Quick High Block, Jedi Force Flare. I unlocked a bunch of stuff within this app. Now, this app will teach you how to train and do special lightsaber moves uh, if you have the Lightsaber Academy lightsaber, which is a different toy I'll be doing a review on, or have already done a review on at this point. Okay, so I unlocked four out of seven Ray moves. Oh, wow. Let's, let's see. So it just teaches you how to do the forward strike. Okay. So it's just a video teaching you how to do the move. How about Jedi high block? This is the high block up here. You go from forward to up. Okay. And we got the force flurry. Swing, swing, swing. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a good amount of swings. Okay. And then the master. Oh, there's a finish move. Forward. Up forward and that's a weak kind of finish is that the whole thing oh then you finish with the flurry so it's like forward block forward and then flurry okay and so you unlock little videos like that within the app i also unlocked a trial apparently electronic lightsaber jedi trial now this doesn't connect to the app which is the weird part okay it's just like it's just a weird little trial it wants you to do, you know, just to practice the moves. Interesting. That's interesting. Okay. It's not done. It's still showing off the trial. Oh, from back? Yeah, it's just a little weird way to keep track of your movements. That's fine. Anything else I need to know about this? I think that's about it. Those are the moves. Now, did the box say unlocks movies? Oh, it says videos. It says lightsaber videos. Okay, so I'm not wrong there. I was like, Did it, am I doing this right? <laughs> okay, and that's that's what it does. I guess I get points and it unlocks some stuff. Let's see if it does it again. You already earned the rewards associated with this QR code. So there you go. 
boom, if you don't want to buy the lightsabers, I'll probably review, be reviewing all of them eventually. And you can just get the codes for me if you don't want to get them all. What do you think, though? What do you guys think? Is a lightsaber, my personal thought is, it's better than the electronic blade builders, just in how, like, thick the clunky that bottom portion is. They're roughly the same size. They are roughly the exact same size. Not much different inside. Just some certain parts are like wonky and weird, like those things are wonky and weird on the new one. Uh, as far as blade length goes, suppose I should measure that for you all. Blade length on the new one comes in at from tip to the end about 21 inches. And on the Blade Builder's electronic one, it's about 23 inches. So, as far as electronic ones go, this one is definitely one of the shorter ones. Um, I still like it, though. I like that it's short. It's actually, to me, as far as, like, for kids go, parents, if you're going to be buying this, um, I would go with this one over Blade Builder's. Just, I mean, it doesn't, if, unless you have a ton of Blade Builder's connectors, because this does not have the connection point for a Blade Builder's the way that this one does, which is why this ended up being so thick and clunky because it has electronics and it needed to be able to fit the blade builder adapter. So that's the reason why this one's so thick and clunky. Uh, but overall, it's an interesting lightsaber. You can see them there. And it's funny that they're both smaller than the non-electronic versions. It is what it is. Guys, let me know your thoughts. Is it a thumbs up for you? Is it a thumbs down for you? Leave it there. I wanna hear your comments and thoughts about this new lightsaber. What are your theories as to, I mean, we all know it broke in Last Jedi, but like some of the rust and detail and stuff on there. I want to know your thoughts on this. Let me know down in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, do the thing, leave the comments, rate the vid, and I will see you next time. Until next time, may the Force have with you, and goodbye forever. Hey, you. While you're sitting there wondering what to watch next, ask yourself this. Do you love Star Wars? Do you love being ridiculous? Well, you're going to love being subscribed to the Dano channel, and I would love to have you here. So make sure you subscribe before you go. But if not, click on one of those two boxes for a video that I suggest that you should watch. May the force be with you. Have good. Bye. Forever.